there is finally another 3D smartphone on the way. CES just wrapped up and there was a lot of stuff publicly displayed at the convention, but, but there's also a lot of stuff that goes on behind closed doors. And of course, Leia Inc., the company behind the Loompad 2, and the amazing 3D laptop displays that are popping up everywhere, had a bunch to show off in their own private display area. And The Verge did an article on this, and it's the most amazing article I've ever seen about 3D technology, probably ever. I'm just gonna introduce a couple points from the article. It just paints an awesome picture of what we're gonna see happen over just the next year or so, including the release of a 3D OLED smartphone by the end of 2024. The article, if I pull it up, is called Leia is building a 3D empire on the back of the worst phone we've ever reviewed. And that, of course, is talking about the Hydrogen One, which was a 3D smartphone using Leia's older 3D technology. Almost everything about this article is so positive regarding 3D and that's super rare and it's such a good sign for the future. I think this is really going to be the general consensus moving forward, not this one person's individual opinion, but the 3D displays and 3D tech are just getting so good it can't be ignored at this point. So yes, the Hydrogen One flopped big time. I mean, it was a huge failure. It got terrible reviews across the board from basically every tech outlet that reviewed them, and individual consumer reviews and everything were just pretty bad. The 3D was not that great, it was low resolution, there was not much you could do with it, just everything about it. It was essentially a disaster for 3D, for what was supposed to be kind of a restart. I just want to take a look at what this person specifically said because it's really, really, Good stuff. A 200 person startup named after Star Wars Princess Leia may have quietly cornered the market on glasses free 2D to 3D screens after clawing its way back from one of the biggest gadget flops of the past decade. Remember the red hydrogen? The 3D phone that crashed and burned so hard its founder decided it's time to retire? Leia is the company that designed its holographic screen, and the company has been relatively quiet since that experience. Walking into its private hotel room suite at CES 2024 in Las Vegas, my expectations were not particularly high. So you can imagine my surprise to find five tables full of Acer, Asus, Dell, Lenovo, and MSI products and prototypes, plus a brand new 3D OLED phone, each featuring eye-popping, glasses-free 3D screens from Leia. And then he goes on to say that the founder of Leia showed him a bunch of different demos and prototypes. Two of the prototypes were made specifically for Dell and Lenovo. So those companies are interested in having products, probably monitors or laptops, with Leia's tech in it to do the 3D effect for those displays. And then shares that the most advanced, just most impressive 3D demo out of everything that this person saw during this visit is something that I've heard about already, which is the 8K 3D monitor that Leia has developed. It's an incredibly expensive display, but anybody that sees it is just completely wowed and blown away, including the staff at Leia just can't believe how real the 3D effect looks. And this person goes on to describe how mind-blowing the experience was of viewing an actual Gaussian splat, or like a 3D scene captured with a smartphone that can be viewed on this 8K 3D display. But then, when they talk about gaming, talk about playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider in 8K 3D, and then watching the trailer for Avatar, The Way of the Water, and it made them want to watch a bunch of movies in 3D. And then finally, finishing off that section by saying, that they were interested in doing things on that screen in 3D for hours at a time, which is the first time ever they have felt that way about anything in Glasses Free 3D. So that really shows you how far Glasses Free 3D has come and how incredible the experience it delivers now. 3D does not have to be inside VR or AR to look beautiful and amazing and have no crosstalk. It's getting to that point now with actual 3D displays. But as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, the most exciting part about all of this by far is the fact that there is this 3D smartphone that Leia has confirmed is planned for release within 2024 from one of the major smartphone companies. And they say that the release window for 2024 is geared towards Asia. I do not know if that's going to happen in the rest of the world. The same product will come to the rest of the world in a similar time frame or at all, but if one company is able to release a phone now with the better 3D technology that Leia has, then it is bound to succeed. There's no way they're going to let it fail like they did with the Red Hydrogen One. And they're doing such a good job with all their new products that I am certain that this new smartphone is going to be the turning point for 3D smartphone technology. One of the other very good pieces of news about it is that the smartphone that was shown off to this person was a 1080p version of the 3D display of the smartphone that's being developed. But they said the final product planned for release is actually going to be an OLED 
1440p 3D smartphone. Just completely unbelievable. And I cannot wait to get it. That's going to be a day one purchase for me. But how about you? Are you excited to finally see 3D come to smartphones for real this time in really high resolution, good quality 3D? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Definitely like and subscribe if you're interested in hearing more updates like this. I'm super excited. Once the product releases, I'm going to get it, demo it, and show it off to people, get reactions, make videos. So I'd love to experience this, this huge wave of 3D that's about to come with all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.